Real Madrid came from behind to win a thrilling 3-2 game at Napoli in their Champions League Group C match on Tuesday. With an unlucky own goal by Napoli's keeper Alex Merritt giving the Spanish side the victory in the final minutes of the second half. Real's Vinicius Jr. and Jude Bellingham scored in the first half to cancel out a Leo Ostergaard header for Napoli. But Napoli equalized in the second half with a Piotr Zielinski penalty after a handball by Real's Nacho. Advertisement scroll to continue Real are leading Group C with six points from two games. Three points ahead of Napoli and Braga. Union Berlin are at the bottom with zero points. Real started the game well with Vinicius and Bellingham causing problems for Napoli's defense. Vinicius, who had just returned from a leg injury that kept him out for more than a month, was impressive, combining well with Bellingham as they showed their early season form. Both had opportunities to score in the first few minutes but Napoli scored first with Ostegaard's header in the 19th minute after Real Madrid's keeper Kepa Arizabalaga failed to clear a corner that was sent into a crowded area near the goal. The visitors, however, bounced back with goals from Vinicius and Bellingham within seven minutes in the first half. First Bellingham intercepted a bad pass by Napoli's defender Giovanni Di Lorenzo just outside their box and quickly passed to Vinicius, who scored a brilliant goal from an angle into the far corner in the 27th minute. Stunning goal Bellingham gave Real the lead in the 34th minute with a stunning goal. Dribbling past three Napoli defenders, before placing a neat shot out of the keeper's reach and into the bottom left corner. But Napoli got back into the game early in the second half and made it 2-2 in the 54th minute with Zielinski's penalty. Given for a handball by defender Nacho after a VAR check. Real's players and coach Carlo Ancelotti were angry with the decision and complained loudly to referee Clement Turpin. Who had first ignored the penalty claims and let the game continue with the ball apparently bouncing off Nacho's boot before hitting his left hand as he slid in to tackle. I don't think it's a penalty. It's a rebound from his foot. You can't just cut the hand off the player, Ancelotti told Movie Star Plus. With the support of their fans in a full Diego Maradona stadium, the hosts pushed for the win and almost scored with a Kvicic Veritskilia shot that went just wide while Ariza Balaga made three great saves from Victor Osimhen's shots from close range. However, experienced midfielder Luka Modric came off the bench to energize Real Madrid late in the game. He first set up Bellingham, who missed an easy chance from close range in the 75th minute. Three minutes later, his corner reached Valverde whose long-range shot hit the crossbar and then bounced off the back of Merritt's head before going into his own goal. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.